Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today with this video I am going to start VCP VMware VCP 8 Data Center Virtualization 2023 training tutorial and this to, uh, this training is going to be focused on VMware vSphere 8 and all the versions like ESXi 8 and everything which which related to um, uh, which we need to cover under the VCP 8 uh, data center virtualization 2023 exam so this is completely going to be focused uh, uh, training for the exam and competition if you want to crack the data center virtualization training or ex uh, certification and all but in case if you want to learn how how the data center virtualization uh, engineer or you can say vmware engineer works on these day to day operations or if you are working in any any organization where you want to have a expertise on vcenter infrastructure and you don't know anything or maybe you have a middle level of knowledge and you want to enhance your knowledge so definitely this is going to be a very helpful uh, playlist for you so i recommend you to go ahead and watch every th all the videos step by step and the most important thing you need to follow the um, uh, uh, basically step by step videos so you you will get what what all understanding we have from last previous videos and all so let's get it started so i have mentioned these two links in um, uh, basically description also so these two links are basically you can refer for the all the all the related uh, information related to vmware uh, certificate uh, certification and also this is we are discussing data center virtualization training 2023 so if you if you uh, pass this exam you, you are going to get this uh, uh, certification which is called data center virtualization engineer and if you see here there is a if you refer this path this path having all the information which you require before uh, taking the exam or before taking the training and all so certification path is also mentioned here so if you have no certification what you need to do like recommended to gain experience on uh, vSphere 7 or 8 then required to attend one of the training uh, related to this like uh, in last video uh, playlist i have explained this install and configure uh, version 7 so this is what we are going to focus on vSphere vmware vSphere install config and manage 8 so this is what we are going to do and then you have to schedule exam and you need to uh, pass the exam once you pass the exam you will get the uh, data center virtualization certificate and all so again there is a 70 questions which is going to be asked this is exam fees here uh, 250 usd and exam is going to be a 130 minute so it will have a multiple question and all type of questions so you can see the exam guide also if you want to refer how how you can write the exam so section one what is going to be section two so designing and solution configuration so all the details if you want to refer you can refer this and it has all the all the so before going into lab i want you to give some time on documentation and read what my uh, what basically vmware requires what all things you need to understand like the, the, these are all the important topics like vmware ha uh, vspare availability you can refer these document and uh, this document is going to uh, give you a lot of benefit uh, considering if you don't have a basic knowledge and if you have a basic knowledge you want to gain uh, some advanced level of knowledge before before training and all and there was a lot of uh, words if you don't know what is host profiling what is a recent server configuration and authentication method i must recommend you to go go and read this documentation and everything and here you can see the exam pattern is uh, given example question they are going to give you this type of diagram and based on that uh, there will be a, a question and you need to answer this type of thing so uh, you can refer this and then again what we we have if you have any certification previous certification there was a path for those also like uh, recommended to again attend a training and schedule exam so this is what about it and if you go to certification detail pdf it will again explain you everything what you have to do what are the courses you have to come finish before doing this examination and all so if i go here again the certification path is mentioned so i must recommend go ahead and check out both the links and at the last i'll show you this thing so this is vmware vspare operate scale and this in our uh, secure infrastructure so if you see the this thing of uh, you know 
training training material so if you want to learn you can go on my mylearn.vmware.com also and you can uh, search for the trainings okay there was few resources also uh, you can go for it like this is training by products so data center virtualization infrastructure you can go for it and you will you will get all the all the required details and if you want to learn anything you want to know how the training and certification work on the VMware world you can go and uh, do the learning so I, I don't want to <coughs> uh, stress uh, more on this so so it is must recommended thing go and check out these link get some knowledge what you are going to do what is the requirement and all so next what we are going to focus on this uh, complete playlist so first thing we are going to do do this install and config deploy uh, then deploy a vCenter use the vCenter client to create a vCenter inventory assign a role vCenter users and all then we will create some uh, uh, virtual network standard and distributors which will do some advanced stuff related to distributors like assign distributed switches to uh, host and remove the uh, remove and create and configure data store using uh, storage technology supported by vSphere then we have a create a virtual machine template clone snapshot all these things we are going to do and then we are going to do the content library creation deployment of virtual machine from content library and all those things and virtual machine related these are going to be how, how you can enable the vMotion how you can enable storage vMotion how you can do a HA DRS and all those things SDRS so those things and then manage the life cycle of v, uh, VMware vSphere vCenter ESSI host and virtual machine to keep them updated so this is what uh, we are going to cover in this entire course so stay tuned and if you have any question anything you want to more uh, get the more information you can comment or you can drop an email on below given email id I'll, I'll try my best to respond you guys and then this is what i'm going to use my lab so this is completely uh, hands-on lab training so i'm not going to discuss you about the theoretical part i'll try to explain a few things but again i'm not going to explain all the theory part to, to uh, you know get the session boring so i'll try to jump in directly to the you know uh, labs and demos and then we can start for we can focus on that thing so i'll i'll again uh, request you to follow all the videos and, and set up the same thing at your environment so you can basically replicate whatever i'm going to do in my lab you can replicate on your lab and you can make sure you are following me so we can do it together you know so <clears throat> this is what i have so this is my physical machine it's a car it's a assembled uh, workstation machine you can see um, so i got i7 extreme series processor with a 3.5 gigahertz uh, clock speed and then i got a 128 gb of memory an operating system i'm running uh, microsoft uh, windows 11 enterprise and i got one tb of nvme ssd i have uh, other ssds also so mainly where i'm going to store these nv uh, all the virtual machine within a NVMe SSD so you will see the performance of my machine is performance so, so I recommend get the get the good performance machine before doing these all the apps and on the software requirement I got VMware version 16 Pro installed on my machine I, I can show you also so this is my machine if I show you guys so system information I guess from here I can show you Windows 11 I am running and physical memory you can see 128 GB and processor you can see this is my processor extreme series processor with uh, 12 logical processors and 6 cores so this is a uh, good uh, good configuration processor I, I, and I really don't feel any slowness or anything running on with uh, this machine and again you require a ISOs for you know Windows machines and your ESXi 8, vSphere 8 appliance and all so this is all about in introduction video so see you seen in action and let's catch up with the esxi installation in uh, next video and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post them on my given video ideas thank you once again bye bye so i'll, I'll try to put everything in uh, uh, 
basically uh, in the comment section or in the description so make sure you you go through these all links okay this is this is most important thing before we start in the lab so thank you for watching